Singapore, a total of 4,187 airport industry professionals including staff from suppliers exhibiting, attended the 6th edition of Inter Airport Southeast Asia Singapore from the 27th of February to the 1st of March at Singapore Expo. 2,574 of the attendees were qualified airport equipment buyers from the Southeast Asia region and spent three days learning, discovering, networking and experiencing the latest products and innovations available specifically for the Southeast Asian region. This represents a buyer increase of 15% when compared to the 2017 edition. It follows a 22% increase in the size of the exhibition which includes 190 exhibitors up from 145 in 2017. Airport authorities and buyers from major airports around the region were amongst the crowds over the three show days. The event gave us plenty of experience from networking with civil aviation industry players from around the globe and particularly from sea, sharing experience and knowledge, and technology fresh from suppliers. It's a great experience which I will share and connect with our aviation industry in Malaysia, explained Mr. Kyril Nazmi Zainal Arifin, Senior Assistant Director, Civil Aviation Authority of Malaysia Mr. Raul L. Del Rosario, Vice President for Airport Operations Management Group, Clark International Airport Corporation said, Inter-Airport Southeast Asia has proved very important for us and other airfields in the Philippines. We had some very good meetings with suppliers here, which will help us further develop airports for our country. Visitors came from 57 countries including all the counties in the Asia-Pacific region. In addition to the major airport hubs in Southeast Asia visitors from regional and second-tier airports took advantage of experiencing the latest technologies on display. RADM at Pimanant, Deputy Director, Utapawa Airport Authority, Thailand, we had a great two days at the show. It enabled us to meet many important suppliers. We are looking forward to the next edition, on the floor, a number of world exclusives were unveiled during the show. Tom Blackwert, Communications. Exhibitors from 33 countries were represented including major pavilions from Germany, Gay, German Airport, Technology and Equipment, Korea, France, Provia, and the UK, British Airport Services. Time, we exhibited the belt loader and there has been a great response, including many potential customers, we got a lot of inquiries, baggage handling leader Vanderland, we're showcasing Fleet, Fleet is the world's first baggage sorting application in live operation. We are very proud to be able to showcase this innovative, award-winning solution at Inter Airport Southeast Asia, explained Guy Spartelli, Systems Concepting Director of Anderland. Also, part of the experience at Inter Airport for attendees was a series of cutting-edge seminars hosted by exhibitors in addition to the co-located, high-level conference, Smart Airports Southeast Asia over the first two days of the exhibition. The exhibition manager for Inter Airport Southeast Asia Suwapit, Annie, Ajunasaran commented, We have heard from both visitors and exhibitors that some very fruitful discussions have taken place over the course of the exhibition. We have received reports of significant deals and sales from the show floor. The exhibition continues to provide world-class solutions to the demands of airports in this region. We have already received numerous rebookings for the next edition in 2021, to which we have reacted by making significantly more space available to exhibitors. Dates for the 7th edition of Inter Airport Southeast Asia were announced during the show. The region's airport industry will again meet in Singapore from the 24 to 26 February 2021. Those suppliers looking to exhibit are encouraged to contact the show team as soon as possible to secure their space. Extra space has been made available but will be allocated on a first-come first-served basis, Inter-Airport will return for the mother show, Inter-Airport Europe in Munich from the 8 to 11 October 2019 before heading to Beijing in September 2020 and then returning to Southeast Asia in 2021.